Senkai, no. Yakuza, zero. Oh, I'll get you nice and relaxed. Yes. No, no. No. Back with some more Yakuza Zero. We last left off, we came across the greatest thing in gambling history. Underground sexy women fighting and freaking bikinis and other kinky shit. And oh my god, it's just fucking glorious. Oh, I love this country. Why do they do this shit in America? God dang it. All this weird, crazy shit. It's Japanese, it's just, it's just a fucking normal day in the neighborhood. <laughs> Unfortunately though, as you guys sort of uh, pointed out, and I also kind of, <laughs> I kind of discovered myself, uh, it isn't really the most reliable way to make a lot of money. Um, so yes, the uh, the whole rapid button pressing thing is apparently one, one of the worst parts about it because it does seem to have some level of RNG. I, I don't know, it's really confusing. Some of you guys said, well, maybe if you, if you start slow and then go faster, I think it might be better. Others are like, no, it doesn't matter how many times you press it or how fast you are, like the, the computer will sometimes just fuck you over, you know, for no reason. I mean, I've always considered myself to be really good at those button pressing things. So I always think I was like, either this is bullshit or I'm just not nearly as good as I thought I, I thought I was. But yeah, I, you guys confirm that it just, it is that way. So it can be very frustrating. And the fact that it's sort of, Honestly, just random. You're doing the whole rock, paper, scissors thing. It's really not, not much skill to it. So, uh, yeah, that, that kind of looks that way. Uh, although I will actually have to do that here in a second with, uh, it seems with the gambling king more than likely. You guys also did t say that, yes, that uh, that game, that racing game I played was also a real Sega game. Yeah, I, I, had a, I had a feeling. If the other one was a real one, then I, I figured that one had to be as well. I just wasn't really crazy about the, the faux 3D. I mean, I, I get at the time it was probably pretty revolutionary, um, but... Ooh, wait, it just, it just hurt my eyes. It was just too many repeating, like, things on the left and right. It, it was, like, hard for me to gauge where I was. I was like, ah. Although it's probably better for people who maybe grew up with those kinds of games. Anyway, I grinded for some money off screen. What do you guys actually, uh, threw out, uh, a really good way for, at least for Kiryu in particular? Because he has this perk that allows him to, uh, make extra money from the, uh, Mr. Shakedowns. And apparently, according to you guys, it's one and a half times whatever it is that he has. So what you can do is you can essentially get money from him and then go fight him again, lose intentionally. He'll take all that money, go and beat him again. You'll get one and a half times that back plus whatever he had on him. Go lose again and then beat him up again and so on and so forth. And you just keep building up money and building up money. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a good way to do it. I actually managed to max up my, uh, my brawler style. So yes. So now finally I have all these uh, perks that uh, I get for when I'm drunk. So like uh, Drunker's Secret, greatly boosts the power of the heat actions when drunk at max health. And this was actually pretty awesome. When I was, I tried it on one of the Mr. Shakedowns and oh my god, like you just, you do so much damage to him. I like grabbed a bicycle, smashed over his head and did like two bars of damage. Uh, mean Drunk, heat gauge will rise when I'm attacked by enemies. Dull Sense, I am immune to stunning and paralysis. I also got a few new combos like this uh, double finishing blow and kick combo. Uh, Drunkard's Secret, boosts my attack power based on how drunk you are and how much health you have left. And I, I guess that means if I don't have much health left, I get more attack power. It's, it's kind of not really clear there. Breakaway throw, so I can break out of a, uh, someone's grasp. And also this one, which actually, at first I thought this actually sounded really good. This Drunkard's Secret, you recover a lot of health by drinking alcohol, including at restaurants, etc. Uh, its definition of a lot of health is a little misleading though, because it, it really is not that much more health than you got maybe like twice as much but the amount of health you got before was really not much and to begin with so it went from just a tiny bit to a little bit <laughs> still not like substantial I actually thought first time i was like oh sweet then i could just stop buying the uh the regular uh medicine stuff and just buy like alcoholic drinks and drink them and that'll make me stronger for fights too and also heal me nope not really it really does not heal you up that much oh yes uh bolster defense and heat mode also uh the Yellow Dragon Spirit recover your health when you perform key actions. Again, sounds pretty awesome initially, but it doesn't recover that much health, so it's, in practicality, not quite as awesome. This one's actually pretty cool. This is actually like second chance uh, from Kingdom Hearts. Prevents you from dying when your heat gauge is third on, on the third bar. However, if you hit by a tech that would kill you, the gauge drops to zero. So honestly, you can just pause and heal yourself uh, with it. So it's a, that's a pretty awesome move. 
And uh, the rest are just like heat retention and heat wave and stuff like that. So, but yeah, all I've got left actually are uh, to master those uh, final skills from Pacus, which I think I will go and do now. How about that? Let's go finish finish up Pacus. Oh, you motherfuckers! I threw him money, damn it! Ugh. I will say, and not surprisingly, uh, the brawler is my best move right now, or my best style. Ugh. Just does so much damage now. Yeah! <laughs> Did you see him come over? It's like I I'm gonna kick you. Ah! Oh, you guys said I could apparently do stuff next to cars. So let's try that. Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! I did not realize. Oh shit! Oh, I, I didn't realize the button prompt was gonna come up. That's so cool. So I just like drag dudes over next to stuff like cars and street lights and shit, and it'll do a different heat move. I, I love. There's so many heat moves in this game. It's so it's so amazing. Also, I, I do have to thank you guys. You really have been providing a ton of great tips. That have really helped me out um, in this playthrough. Made things go a lot more smoothly. Uh, helped me to you know avoid any. Uh, some of the or some of the major pitfalls and uh, so I do really appreciate that. Uh, and this game's just been fun as hell. I'm just enjoying the shit out of it. Uh, wait, he's over there. I, how do I get in there again? Uh, oh no, that's right, that's right, right here. All right, Barkus. Hey, uh, hey, boy. <laughs> you ready to learn my my moves? Sure. Here's some moves I can teach you, boy. Okay, I'm pretty sure that these are. It's gonna be that right that he's the one actually bringing all these dudes here just to, to teach me, and uh, yeah, actually I think about it, you're you're the last trainer, so uh, once I'm done with you, I'll be totally finished. I think. Uh, how can I take down a blade wielding enemy? <laughs> okay, uh, it's a dangerous weapons, boy. I lost someone very dear to me because of a knife attack. So you're always telling me how I need to prevent, <laughs> make sure I don't get stabbed in the gut. <laughs> yes! Is that why you're always telling me to be careful of them? Yes. You you can try it. Find all you want, but anyone can be killed easily when a weapon is involved. Sad, but true. That's why it's time I taught you a move to take down enemies wielding knives. Sounds good. But simply, the idea is to break the arm holding the weapon. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that sounds savage. That sounds awesome. Why didn't I think of that? The move is up. Uh, Trademark at the the pretty famous street fighter back in the states. He even had a saying: <laughs> "Knives take lives. You want to do some harm? Prepare to lose an arm." <laughs> I call it the blade arm mash. All right, essence of disarming. But the move came from the street, the famous street fighter. How come you get to name uh, it? Ah, uh, come on, boy. Don't get hung up on little details like that. Uh, maybe I was that guy I'm talking about. I guess I presume. Ah, oh, god damn it. Is it that dude with the same face? No, oh, nope, somebody else. Looks like we have a guest. What perfect timing. More like a tumbleweed. No. Don't judge by appearances, boy. We have ourselves a real threat here. This won't be our average street fight. Clever, you need to sense there's more to me than meets the eye. See, I'm not just some generic thug, no! I'm the final boss of the game! Yeah, you better watch out! <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, you better call it slow down there, big guy. Still running? Would have been the smart thing to do if you could, that is. Ah! Dag nabbit! What are you so afraid of, Bacchus? Usually see them seem pretty confident around these guys. Bye. Easy now. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I guarantee you we're gonna have a wonderful time. Now get over here with that so I can scare you. Alright, bring it on. Shadow the arm of a of an enemy wielding a one-handed weapon. Show no mercy. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. It's interesting how like his uh, ones have tutorials for them, but the other fighting styles actually don't. You know, or like I have to do it like a certain number of times. Well, how, wait, how many knives do you have? <laughs> how many? How many? Times I gotta break your arm before you learn, boy. Ah! Let me go on his ripped his arm right out of his socket. And start smacking him with it. He's the brawler style. Ah! Thank God I got this other knife. Okay, seriously, I'm getting really sick of it. Hit me. Ah! You no, no, that's a bad. Ah! <laughs> okay, seriously, that cannot be good for your arm. You really should stop. 
fuck this. Okay, seriously, he's not making a difference. He's not, he's not dropping the dumb thing. Oh, I love all these conveniently placed objects. Here I come. Ah! Uh -uh. Booyah! Ah! Dead. Yeah, messed up my arm, man. Like five times. <laughs> <laughs> Blades may be your thing, but you won't be holding one for a while. <laughs> I mean, it, it took some time, but I, I really think I broke it for sure this time. <laughs> Go get, get out of here. Straight up your life. <laughs> I like just imagine I'm like just re-breaking his arm again and again and again. <laughs> okay, stop! <laughs> ah, damn. <laughs> then I slowly saunter off. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit dicey, boy. I didn't know you had it in you to take on a guy like him. <laughs> That movie told me really helped. I love how convenient all this shit is. Thanks. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. What can I do with a my when backed up against a wall? <laughs> okay, having a back up against the wall is just like getting caught in boxing. Uh, I've only seen boxing on TV. It looks hard to get get away once you're trapped in a corner. You usually end up getting knocked yeah. down. <laughs> yes, exactly. If you get caught, uh, your opponent has the upper hand. You need something special to turn the tables. The move I'm going to teach you won't fl wouldn't fly in the ring, but it's incredibly powerful in a street fight. What kind of move? It takes advantage of having a wall at your back. You evade the kick at the last moment and fall through with a game-changing blow. I call it the Bone Cruncher. Essence of wall smashing. Sounds kind of like that move that I uh, have for the other style. I move out of the way at the last second. Interesting. So just when the opponent thinks they have you on the ropes and let their guard down, you hit them with a punching counter-strike. That's right. When you're cornered, you have to recognize the moment, the right moment to take advantage of an enemy attack. Attacking blindly isn't the only way to win a fight. You're back, is, huh? Oh, there he is! <laughs> ah, damn, there's that son of a bitch! Oh, man! Dude, how, like, how many times have I beat you? I like to think it's just the same dude every time. He just... He just comes back in different outfits and different groups of people, and he just like he just he has something against me. <laughs> he keep, he also keeps coming back with the new pair of shades because I always break the other ones. That uh, should be interesting. Another newcomer here to kill you. So what, what's so interesting about that? I know him. He's a former champion of Casa Glory to become <laughs> become Mafia Muscle. <laughs> really, you know this guy I've been killing again and again. I got bored in the rings. So I wait, where are the real fights happening? No. Ah. Yeah, I was hoping you'd have a step down for a better reason than that. How shallow? Shallow, you say? Bacchus? No matter how skilled the fighter, when they when they duke it out for petty reasons, it's nothing but violence. I hate fighters like that more than anything. Ah, you keep your sermon to yourself, old man. Time to tell you this little task can out for celebratory drinks. Uh? Couldn't have said it better myself. Come on, then! Oh, yeah. Ugh. Evade an enemy's attack and smash the bones in their leg. The strike is enough to make any troublemaker regret getting out of bed. Oh, God. Try and go with, with your back to the wall. Okay. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Oh, my God. So fucking savage. Okay, don't worry. I know he did it that one time, but I'm trying again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Alright, you did the you did the same thing, but this time I got you for sure. <laughs> Real like tutorial does he have we have to let him do it three times. Alright, let's try again. You're gonna give me this time for sure, right? Alright. <laughs> I need some alcohol. Drink. Drink. How much does that put me up? No. I need more. Drink. Drink. Oh, watch how much damage. Okay, so I'm at full health, drunk as shit. Here we go. Boom! <laughs> One hit. That's all it takes. That is so powerful. I love it. Ow, oh, what the hell is that? Ultimate drunken power. Ah, no. I think you're taking this a bit too far, boy. It seemed roughly around the edges that I showed you. Fuck you, old man. I do what I want. Hands and feet make pretty deadly weapons when used right. Just because you don't carry a knife or a gun doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. Yeah, I get that. Uh, filled with your tasks. Don't even show your face in front of us again. Fine. 
I'll be curious if, if it is that boxes would hire these guys. <laughs> man, these guys are gonna be really pissed off. <laughs> this is not worth the money you paid me, old man. I'm crippled for life. Something got your goat, boy. Maybe. What? I was just thinking. There isn't much difference between me and the type of guy you hate. I only know how to solve problems through violence. I could end up like that guy one day. Oh. You're too young for your path to be set in stone, boy. You've got way too many games ahead of you. Oh, by the way, you guys told me, this is a nifty little Easter egg, so the the quote-unquote heat actions that the girls were doing in that uh, catfight club, like their special moves, they're actually heat actions from later games in the series. That is so cool! That is such a nifty Easter egg! Because, you know, technically this game came after most of the sequels. Actually, maybe all of the sequels. I, I think this is this might be the most recent game in the series. Although, I think they are uh, coming out with a Yakuza 5 or 6 or something? Or, or no, actually, I think they did already in Japan. I think they did, and it, it's going to come out here in the West sometime kind of soon. Although, I, I think I'm probably still a ways from ever playing it. Uh, and also, yes, Yakuza Kiwami came out, and then uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2, I think, is yet to be released in Japan. But that's really cool. That's like... I think, like, people who, like, played all those other games and saw that would have been like, oh, like, what a nice, what a cool little nod that is. Oh, no, still. People are swayed by, by those around them. You may think your decisions are your own, but others leave their mark. I've already learned a lot of things from you. For example, <laughs> how, to, how to break kneecaps and dislocate shoulders. You learn from me? Sure. No matter how old you get, there's always more to learn. The way you carry yourself is a positive influence on me, for instance. I do instill valuable life lessons in people. No kidding. I thought I was the one doing all the learning here. Life's a precious thing. It isn't always easy, but we do what we can to survive. And that's what you need to focus on now. I hear that. And you'll learn a few more of your moves. Stick with me until I master them all. <laughs> of course. Always happy to help. <laughs> By which I mean there's literally one. Hey, hey boy! Okay, how can I launch a finisher from a combo? <laughs> okay. Hmm, you have some powerful combinations at your disposal now. A little extra polish and you'll be unstoppable. Mm. Extra polish? What do you mean by that? I've seen you unleash some mighty backhand blows. But I think you can give them an even stronger follow-through. Oh. Uh -huh. I call it a power finish. Yes, it's a finishing blows. It's a pretty bland name. <laughs> it's a finisher. Let's keep it simple. Mm. I guess so. Hey! Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, isn't that the same guy who just fought, like, before the last fight? You bogus names. Ah, perfect timing. Look what we got here. Another meat bag to test it on. I mean a hitman. What? So you can take this guy down with what we talked about, boy. By the look of him, he should be a cinch. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Yeah? Let me get those words. Just you wait. All right. Look at you hopping up and down like a little bunny. This reckless attack is executed after performing a backhanded finishing blow. Squares, okay, square, 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 triangle. Oh, that was cool. That was actually, I think, my uh, one of my other moves, though, that I bought. Yeah, oh my God, I love that. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah that's, not, that's not the one, though. Okay. Okay. Square, square. Oh, ho, 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 ho. was that it? Yeah, that was the one. I didn't realize it. there'd be a heat action involved. One, two, three. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Kiryu's just got to look awesome in everything he does. Now to feed him. You know what? I'm just going to do this. How about that? <laughs> See, look at that. How ridiculous is it? <laughs> okay, I'm done. Blah. Uh, what the hell? You didn't kill me with that movie you kept using on me before. How's he still breathing after all that punishment? Must be a toughest attack. Yeah. Looks like the fight's gone out of him, though. You won't need any more convincing. Hmm. He's taking this well for it, man. I'm no hitman. I was sent by Raymond Cart the Raymond Cartel. Hmm. Raymond Cartel? What's that? you find out soon enough. Bacchus here can tell you all about it. Yeah. <laughs> See you around, Kazuya. Kazuma Kiryu. I didn't get my name. Mm. Huh, yeah, how did he know my name? It's a story here, Bacchus. 
Ah, I'm not ready to tell you yet. Oy. Hey! Who's that? Now we know who's sending these hitmen, and that my life isn't in danger. Besides, we still have more training to do. Until next time. No, we don't. We're done, you idiot. I got them all. I, I think. I kind of would have thought I would have got an achievement or something. Guess not, though. <laughs> something else for me to teach you, boy. Congratulations on your graduation. Mm. So that's it, huh? It's all over. Say, boy, how would you like to give combat sports a real shot? I think you'd make a fine boxer, and I would know. Here we go again. Listen, Bacchus. Oh. What? Why do you want me to, why to turn me into a pro fighter so badly? Because I see the makings of a champ in you. You just put the work in, and the sky's the limit. You could be rolling in cash. I'm sure there's tons of people who would pull that off. Though. <clears throat> well, yes and no. I admit I've got an eye for talent. I've seen raw talent rise up all over the world. Then why me? Your potential is greater than any of those chumps. The kids I train have to be able to hold their own in the street, too. But why a street fight? And that applies in a ring where there's ac there are actual <sighs> rules. That's assuming you only fight in the ring. Nani. So that's supposed to mean. I tell you, kid, most of the money I owe was borrowed from the Mafia. State side. And they don't play by the rules. The Mafia? You wouldn't borrow cash from criminals like that? No wonder they're chasing you halfway around the world. Okay, never mind. I, I it, it really was that he was owing money. Okay, I, I thought this was going to be like, Oh, this is all to train you, boy. Now join me on my crusade or something. I can explain that. You see, I used to run a gym where I trained young boxers with promise. You, you might have seen me. I was in the first three Rocky movies. One day, one of my fighters went up in, against a guy who was in the Mafia's pocket. Of course, there were a lot of off-the-book bets riding on the fight. Mm. They were gambling on it, huh? My trainee was a nobody. But to everyone's surprise, he came out of nowhere and knocked the guy flat in his ass. That's where it all started. You pissed off the mob. First, they recruited the guy I was training and put him in their own damn gym. I mean, it came as a shock. What could I do? They could bankroll him far better than I ever could. Pretty common tale in the sports uh. world. Next thing I know, my gym goes up in smoke after a fire broke out from my quote-unquote gas leak. I was heartbroken. Manny? Wait, they burned down your gym? I was down, but not out. So Iron Ha took out a, a loan to rebuild the gym. Ah. I applied at a financial company that was completely legit. But the Mafia put some pressure on them, and suddenly they're the ones carrying my loan. So the mob bought out your debt from the bank. And so you came to owe them all that money? Yes. Yep, sure didn't think they'd go that far to get revenge. It was all downhill from there. Mafia goons would show up at my gym every day and intimidate my clientele. Till I didn't have a single boxer left. What'd you do? You can do the math. No fighters, no lessons, no money, no money, no bouts, no titles, no nothing. I was, I was done. I had one ray of hope in that dark time, and that was this kid who stuck with me through, thick, through the thick of it. He was dead set on getting that title built with me. And then one day, he was out doing his job, day job on some road work, and he got mucked, shanked. He didn't make it. Oh, I see. You tell me the Mafia was behind that, too. I figured it was just a bad luck on top of cruel fate. But then a Mafia lawyer showed up to defend the killer. I understand now why you'd want your next fighters to have street smarts, too. Yes, yes. <laughs> Why did you do? What did you do to piss them off so much? The betting thing only happened once, right? I don't get why they'd chase you to the ends of the earth for that. Yeah. Actually, I figured that that out just recently. They don't want me dead. They want me alive for my services. I don't understand. I should should have realized it so much earlier. All the talent I'd find just to end up siding with those mafia bastards. You think their aim is to get the skilled fighters you fi find to sign up with them? That makes the most sense. Perhaps the guys behind you can fill us in. Huh? Oh, fuck. You work for the mob, huh? Are those all oh, those are all five of the guys I fought, isn't it? That's right. I'm with the Raymond Cartel, Eastern Division. Why don't you call what, what it is? Mafia. If you're not here to kill me, then you came for the kit, huh? Exactly. The man we, were, we sent here were to test Cosmic Curious Metal. <laughs> Don't say hit me, you said here. The, the guy's right there. Today, y'all here together. Yeah, that means you passed your tests. You're here to take him with you. Guys, I'm going to kill you. 
We've to already notified headquarters that Bacchus considers you his top fighter. First I've heard of it. When did Bacchus tell you that? He didn't have to. You're only calls his most talented finds, boy. You're only the second to earn that title. That's enough to make you a prime recruit in our eyes. Ah, damn it. <laughs> you, all, you know all my goddamn lingo. <laughs> you let me wander the world so you can swoop in as soon as I call a kid boy. I've been calling him that since the beginning of the game. Choice is yours, Cosmic Kiryu. Either you play it smart and sign up with us, or... Hell no. may want to reconsider. Probably the death of you, so I suggest you swallow huh? it. I said no. Do you have a hard bargain? How about you come with us? We let Bacchus live. We let the old fool just walk away. I already know you won't harm him. You wouldn't dare kill the Golden Goose or HQ values so much. Enough to empty threats. <laughs> Trust a farmer Yakuza to see through that. Guess the little tricks won't work. This time you're up against five of our best. With your life at stake, surely you can see that accepting our offer is your only option. I don't seem to be getting through to you, so let me make this clear. Eh? You're the ones who decide your fate as soon as you walk down that alley! Now quit wasting your breath and come on! Uh, fine. Have it your way! You go against the mob, you get erased! Oh, here we go! Yes! Time to show you everything I've learned! Oh my god, are they- Oh, holy fuck! Oh my god, this is gonna be a little ridiculous. Ah, uh, uh. I am all out. Wait, no, I've got a little bit more alcohol. Need more booze. Ah. I don't think I'll be using my sweet move like I did before. Or knock, or kill him in a. Oh, wait, shotgun! If I can get to it without these guys stabbing the shit out of me. Oh, yeah, front flip. Eat this bitch. Boom! Oh, oh worn out shotgun. By the way, you guys told me that shotgun I got that I was like, oh, this isn't as good as the other one. Oh, yeah. Apparently, it's better for multiple, like, a group of people. It's like wide. It's got a wide range to it. You couldn't sign me up or kill me. You bring blades and guns and you still fail. You better give it a rest. You won the battle, but not the war. We'll be back. We are the man in black! Well, that takes care of that. What do we do now, Bacchus? Oh. How about joining me on the world stage, boy? Bathe in the spotlight and become a champion fighter! Play the cash be one. Doesn't that tickle your fancy at all? I don't know. I can't imagine that kind of life. But I do know it isn't what I should be doing now. Yeah? A man I owe my life to is in trouble. Helping him is my first and only priority. Oh. Sound like nothing I could say would ever change your mind. Okay, I understand. I won't nag you anymore. I think I'll leave Japan. At least, till you've done what you need to. Where do you go next? Back to the States. It seems like the Mafia have their, own, their eyes on me, so I might as well introduce them to my top picks next. Is that playing right into their hand? Beats having assassins on my trail. If there's a young fighter with a dream out there, I can make it happen. Use the Mafia's pool to your advantage, huh? <laughs> Smart. Yeah, I think I owe them plenty, so why not help them out a little? <laughs> <laughs> well, hope you produce a few champions. Well, you've got some youth left in you yourself, boy. If you ever walk, want to walk the path of the champion, you just let me know. Uh. Sure, got it. See ya. <laughs> I'll be seeing you then, boy. See ya, Bacchus. Uh, that was cool. I like Bacchus. I wonder if he'll show up in later games. And with that, all the training missions are done, so woo, yeah! Okay, let's head to uh, the Cat Fight Club and face off the Gambling King. Yeah! Oh, yeah! I'm at the Cat Fight Arena. Where's the Gambling King? Hey, Kiryu Chan. Gambling King. <laughs> How you been? You know, you know, you shouldn't doggle the girls like that, boy. -o. I didn't realize you were such a horn dog. Uh, I wasn't ogling the girls. So I you're the one who called me out here. Oh, really? Oh well, the fine details don't matter. So, what do you think about this place I built? 
Not too shabby, eh? You built this? Yeah, I'm the founder of this joint. But running it was a hassle, so I sold it off. Nice place, though, right? No comment. <laughs> you know, it's okay to be honest, Mr. Horndog. Is that a flashlight in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Shut up! Look, all you're going to do is bullshit with me. I'm out of here. I'm not here to hang out with you. Oh, come on. Don't be so uptight. Thought we could have ourselves a showdown today. Showdown? Yeah, you and me. Let's each bit a part of our holdings and have ourselves a battle. And we'll do it here. Cat fighting? <laughs> yeah, it's simple. We bet on who will win the next match when I take all. What do you think? Simple, right? I'll even give you a handicap. You can choose your first fighter, and I'll bet on the girl you don't choose. I'm sure you don't want to give me an you want to give me an advantage like that? Yeah, it's no fun if I don't spice things up a little. Huh? Works for me. Then accept your challenge. That's my boy. All right. Let your luck be kind. All right. Pick a fighter and okie dokie. Gain ten percent or lose ten percent. So I should probably just pick, just pick the best one. So this, this, this is this chick. She'll pick Momoka. He'll pick Momoka. Fine with me. All right, come on. Ready? Got this, lady. And all the other times I pretty much bet against you. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You, yeah. Ooh. Oh, shit! That's right. Shake the titties at her. Do it. Do it. Uh. Ah, fuck. Yeah, booyah. Oh, oh, oh. Boom. Oh, oh, oh god, I think he just she figured her about to crash. Yes, rainbow. Oh god, here we go. Oh! 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 Savage! Dead, I win. win. Jenny, win. I don't know what this total profit thing is supposed to be. With the bomb is, it keeps throwing me off. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> looks like I won. Oh man, yeah, you're right. I had a feeling your girl wasn't gonna win before the match started. Just made it a tad too easy for you. Well, deal's a deal. Can be sure my area. Such a welcome gift. Thank you. You got much left, bro. Pretty calm about all this, aren't you? Heh. <laughs> when you gamble, you win some and you lose some. I can't bother getting excited every time. With gambling, it's winning the, the war that counts. Losing today's battle don't, don't mean a thing. All I gotta do is win it all back next time. Business is the same way. In the end, it's all about getting the last laugh. Nothing else matters. <laughs> you got a pretty solid philosophy there. Heh. I'm not like the other billionaires. Have you seen the properties in my area? They're all huge businesses that produce big income. I'm on a completely different level than the others. All I gotta do is be the last man standing. I don't care about the rest. But to do that, I'm ready to do anything. I'll sell my life, my soul, whatever else. Huh? I'm never gonna let you win. If it looks like you might, I'll do whatever it takes to crush you. That's just the way I roll the dice, by loading them in my favor. So I made it to the top. I've cheated countless times, and resort to every dirty trick in the book. But thanks to all that, I managed to keep my winning streak. I was able to create a huge fortune. I never doubted myself for a second. The winner is always right, and since I'm the winner, I'm right. Don't you think? No. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> You're right about winning the war, not just the battle. But you have to resort to dirty tricks to do it. You have no right to be a winner. I'll beat you, fair and square. Using cheap tactics only means I have to live with that afterwards. Heh. <laughs> you talk the talk, at least. I like you. You amuse me. I'd be more than happy to see how long you can keep up with your big boy act. I'll see you later. Gambling King. I let my guard down. I'm done. Better watch out! Well, he better fucking watch out. Let's get that money. Oh, by the way, guys, also point out, I don't need to, uh, when I do a money battle, I, I really don't need to do, uh, to press the, the X button so many times. Just, 
I'm like spending tons and tons of cash when I really don't need to. So just wait till his HP starts going down and then heal him back. Oh wow, no bunny battle. Okay. <laughs> kind of surprised, but all right, works for me. All right, the entire other first district has now been made to ace S rank. I guess if I talk to her, I can get like a. Oh wait, or maybe him. Start a quest I can get to to get like a bunch of new managers. Can't seem to interact with her, so. Maybe not yet. Okay, so I had a lot of you guys tell me I should do that dominatrix one. Apparently that, that one's pretty funny, so. Okay, lady. <laughs> also, you guys point out, it's the, the name of the, the quest, How to Train Your Dominatrix. It's like, <laughs> it's like uh, How to Train Your Dragon, of course. Oi. Oi. Hey, are you okay? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm sorry for causing a scene in public to you. Uh, it's okay. Well, it was a scene, I guess. But this is S&M thing. Sure has some unique challenges, doesn't it? Yes, very much so. What do you think after watching that? I'm not cut out for this line of work, mm. am I? Hmm. Honestly, you seem to be caring t too caring and gentle to play a dominatrix. <laughs> I find it very hard to berate someone, especially a client. It feels like I'm being rude. <laughs> but that's that's kind of the point, though. Hmm. I would think your customers pay you because they want to be abused by you. If you're so hung up on berating people, why are you even working as a dominatrix? So, child, I could never rebu rebuke anyone. When my friends betrayed me, I laughed it off and forgave them. I still like that today. But those relationships I built, I was swallowing my feelings were false. They were shallow. I realized I have no real friends. Not one person with whom I could share my honest feelings. I took this job to transform myself so into someone who can tell people exactly what's on my, her mind. But now I see that I'm not cut out for it. Well, that's quite a leap in logic to make. <laughs> okay, I think I'm sort of following your, your train of thought, but uh, still. If you're but if you're still motivated, why not stick with it? But, but I don't have the talent to be a dominatrix. Hey, check it out. Got ourselves a real-life dominatrix. Whoa. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Misogynist account. You always dress like that? Oh, I beg of you. Please make me your slave. ha. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm sorry. Could you? Uh huh? Eh? What was that? Got something to say, kinky lady? Um, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the heck? Chauvinist swan. Tell us this. That you were supposed to be a ro all, all rolling shit. Some S&M queen you are. She says you're bad for uh -huh. business. Eh? Uh -huh. I'll say if I'll say if for. Don't lord in front of the club. You're bad for business. I'll abuse you. How about that? Uh, stay out of this, you squirrely pig! Can't act tough when you're trying around a, 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 a an S&M dungeon! I'm not a customer, you ass! Just get lost. You're a nuisance. I'm teaching her how to be dominant. <laughs> don't don't order me around, bacon boy. Well, best kiss to pig while I was taking a punch, am I right? I know how to make it feel real good then. Oh, for fuck's sake! Fine, you want to get fucking beat? I want to fist you, daddy. Get ready now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, give me this sign. Uh, how about this? Yeah. That feel good? That feel good, huh? What's the safe word? Pineapple! Pineapple! Too late. Ah, damn. This mask is tough. Just be like, like in your ass spanked. Uh? I said I'm not a customer. Don't make me scramble you again, son! Do I need to pound that into your skull again? <laughs> Next time, pick a safe word before you ask for our flogging! <laughs> yes! If I see you around here again, you're dead meat! Uh, um, excuse me! Sorry. <laughs> I caused a big scene fighting in front of your, uh, club. This shit just kinda follows me everywhere, honestly. No, no! That's okay! Thank you for telling this man what I wanted to say myself! And, um... Mm -hmm. Huh? What is it? Could you teach me how to punish people? <laughs> Nani. Nani, how do it? Huh? Punish people? Yes. The words you said to send those men scurrying. That was amazing. What to be like you and berate people the way you do. Wait. I don't know. <laughs> I want to change myself. Please. Help me. No, I don't have time for this. Okay, fine. She's desperate enough to ask me for my help, even though we just met. I was serious about wanting to change. I know what you need. You need some pizza, la pizza! <laughs> Not sure I could teach her to berate others, but she thinks I could help. Okay. 
I'll do what I can to help. <laughs> oh, you will? Thank you! My name's Ayu. I'm so glad uh, I met you. I'm Kiryu. But only if you get to treat me to some sweet, sexy action afterwards. You betcha. But now, I don't know where to begin. Oh, by the way, I guess told me, apparently in the telephone club thing, you actually can go out with some of the girls there. Uh, and they're actually like little mini uh, sub-stories as well. So I, I should try that out later. Uh, okay. That's true. But for now, there are too many people here. May I go to the park, uh, please? Okay. You're going to go dressed like that? Sure, why not? <laughs> she sure is. Well, we're at the park. Now what? Let's try walking through a session with you. Uh oh, how does that work? S and M is about play acting, a certain kind of fantasy. It's a form of role playing, but it's not what you'd expect. I think I'd gain better inside S and M if I were to practice with you. Want to act out a PlayStation with me, taking the dominant dominant role, and you, the submissive? <laughs> <laughs> please, mommy, please. <laughs> I see. Hey, wait a sec. Do you say I have to play the customer's part? Oh, but I, I don't like that. I always like playing the daddy. Hey. Yes, Kiryu son. I want you to play the role of a thoroughly masochistic client. As we do this, I'd like you to give me advice on what I should be seeing as a dominatrix. Yeah. I get it, but uh, this really isn't my thing. I like laying down the pain, not receiving it. Please! I want you to, want to change! If I can't do this, I'll end up as a quiet, dull person for the rest of my life. Just laying the guild on thick. Ah! Mm. See your point. Though, me, do I you good to learn how to berate others with authority? Besides, I told her I would help. Can't back out now. This is what a real man does. All right, fine. I'm not doing anything weird, though. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. <laughs> really? I mean, they're, they're like kids over there, right? It's okay. They seen you. This is Japan. They're used to this. Kiryu-san, you, son. Can we start with you entering my chamber? I'll try. M m mistress, may I serve you today? Oh, right, mistress. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please do. Yeah, that, that's not not right. <laughs> but pardon? Yeah. I'm not fully into my role either, so I'm not one to talk. But are you? You're a dominatrix, right? Y yes, I'm supposed to be. Before you can really dominate someone, you need to understand what it means to be a dominatrix. <laughs> Okay, so I got a dictionary while I was uh, out and about, and it says that the dominatrix is a lady who fucks with a dude with whips and high heels and cigarette burns and shit. Uh, curb stopping. Lots and lots of curb stopping. Okay, okay. Are you writing this? I'm writing, I'm writing it down. Okay, good. All right, all right. Make sure you, you take the heel of your high heel and you stick it right into their skull. Not like, you're not trying to actually kill them. You know, make sure they, they feel a little bit of pain. Just, 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 just a little bit. Okay, yeah. All right, good. All right, this is good. Good stuff. This sort of thing, the beginning is crucial. First, we're have to lay out the rules. You're the boss. I see. Then how should I respond to the client's greeting? Your parents would cry if they knew you were here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Who gave you permission to speak, pig? It's not... <laughs> it's like I'm happy to see you anything, baka. Pro probably this. Who gave you permission to speak, pig? I would say, Who gave you permission to speak, pig? I see. Don't even treat them as a person. Just like a dominatrix. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't know I mask his things, but I watched a lot of porns. <laughs> so it's probably a turnoff for them. Okay. Can we do this for the top again? <laughs> I love the Giphy music flag. M M Mistress, may I serve you today? Who gave you permission to speak, pig? S -s Sorry. I don't told her to do this. What, what am I doing? <laughs> what, what a, he's just looking at this guy. What, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> so, how are you going to serve me today? Nani? Nani? Huh? Um, please tell me what you would like me to do. SM things come in many flavors. I have to get the client to tell me about their particular kink. Got it. But I don't really have anything particular. I guess not. Then, just, just in general, what do you women... Do you want women to do to you, Kairi-san? Tell me. Huh? What do I want? To get, what I want done to me? Nothing really comes to mind, so let's just play the masochist here. I want to be whipped. I want to be humiliated. I want. I want to be stepped on with heels. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh savage. Yeah, that shit. I want to be stepped on with heels. Uh, I want to be stepped on with your heels. Ew. Is that right, Kairi-san? Yeah, I would never want to guess. I don't really want that done. Just an example, all right? I'm not that weird. Or maybe I am. Besides that, it's the wrong response for a dominatrix. Pardon? 
Telling you, you their cake makes them vulnerable. You need to come back with the right response to maintain the trust. <laughs> Not you. You should be like, shut the fuck up, and then curb stomp a boom. I see, then how should I respond? Crow, I'm the only one who do that. I, I'm the only one who do that for you. <laughs> no, I'm the only one allowed to do that. <laughs> Ew, no, absolutely not. I bet you'd like that, you pervert. Yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> just, re just remember, think to yourself, what would me you do? <laughs> She's both the dominant matrix and the masochist. Go with, I bet you'd like that, you pervert. That'll do. Boom. Oh, that sounds very much like what a dominatrix would say. That's perfect. I'm learning so much from you already. Yeah. Even a casual, casual conversation if you're working in an s and flavor. Okay, can we try this again? <laughs> I'm just waiting for those kids to look over and be like, What the fuck are they doing? B mistress, I would like you to step on me with your high heels today. <laughs> I bet you'd like that, you pervert! I... I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, he actually... He actually said it! I don't believe it! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, uh, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe he actually said it. Oh, that is so perfect. Oh, this is why Daddy Kiryu, best daddy ever. Very well, we shall begin. Hi, what are you guys doing? Shut up, she's dominating me. Get out of here, you little shits. You won't understand. Nani? Oh. Wow, wow, miss, your clothes are so pretty pure. Oh, oh, it's a girl. Well, Miss, your clothes are so pretty. <laughs> are are you having fun? Can we play too? Oh my God! No! Get out of here, you little kids! Now! Uh, guys, this isn't. We're we're not playing. You, you see, um. When a man and a woman love each other very much, they occasionally put a ball in their mouth and get their ass spanked. Where are you? Calm down. How could you explain me to stay calm now? Please, can we leave? Yeah. No. Think about it. When a true dominatrix take advantage of any unexpected situation to enhance the, se the session. Oh, I see. That does make sense. Well then, what do you propose I say? Answer me! Good, I was back in control. The situation with kids, with kids watching, what would a dominatrix say to a masochistic client? They're watching you get humiliated. Keep your eyes on me and me alone. <laughs> no! I, I don't see anything. Is there something there? No. They're watching you get humiliated. You should go to him with. They're watching you get humiliated. Oh, I see. Being seen could be a big thrill for masochists. <laughs> I guess if it's kids. The kids are like, eh, what the fuck? Eh. Run, kids, run! Funny that would make it even more thrilling and tiddling for them, right? <laughs> Good, yes. I can feel my balls being titillated right now. Ew! Sorry, I forgot you guys were here. Now you're getting it. I understand now. Can we pick up where we left off? <laughs> the kids are just hanging out. No, kids, get out of here! Come on, what are you talking about? But mistress. <laughs> Come on, admit it. You like this, don't you? They're watching you be humiliated. Oh, this is actually pretty humiliating. I don't get this game you're playing. Grown <laughs> <laughs> ups are weird. Let's go. Good, yes, go. Freaking hell. I'm so sorry. I was just training, but I caused you embarrassment in the process. No, it's all right. I, I, I'm embarrassed in every one of these side quests. It's all good. Uh. I think I lost some dignity, among other things, but it's worth it if it helps you change. <laughs> Thank you, Kiryu son. Can you be my daddy after this? Sure, why not? I am everybody's daddy. Can you come with me to the dungeon? I want to give you something as my thanks. Sure. She's gonna tie me up to the fucking thing. I think I left my bag somewhere around here. I should have something to make a good token of my appreciation. Bring your personal belongings into the playroom? Uh. Are you, Chan? You're, you're cli you've got a client. He requests you personally. I'll send him, I'll send him though. So get ready, okay? Huh? Uh, yes. Really? Whoa, if you got clients coming in, I shouldn't be here. N no, you're right. But this could actually be a great opportunity. Nani? <laughs> Nani? What do you mean? Gotta put what I learned from you into practice, Kiryu san. Good, I'll be cheering you on from the closet and just spanking this guy. Yeah, let's make this weird. Yeah, there's a there's a man watching you from the closet right now. You like that, don't you, dirty birdie? Oh yeah, dude. Look, dude, I'm getting fucking slapped, man. Ah! Don't talk to him. You talk to me, motherfucker. You hear me? He grabs him by the fucking first. I don't hear you, man. Yeah, do it. Good. Smack him on the ass again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So could you hide somewhere and watch how I do? I've got a lot more guts than I thought. I never imagined I'd get roped into watching over an S and M session. Ah. Uh. 
Just another day for Kiryu. But all right, I'll do it. Give me your best. I will. Oh my god. I you trying to back? Oh my god. Is that, oh, it's that same dude from before, right? This guy totally, I, she was a bad dominatrix. Hi, Yuchan. I want to see how much you've grown as a dominatrix since our last time. It's been like five whole minutes. So clearly, you, you must be a master, right? Now, mistress, may we begin? Remember what daddy taught you, Ayu? Go on, Ayu. Show him what you learned. <laughs> Who gave you permission to speak? How dare you utter human words, you pig? Such insolence. Squee! Oink! Oink! Please forgive me, oink! Mistress, you're fantastically gorgeous today! Squeal! Please, oink! Abuse me some more, oink, oink! I don't understand you oinking, you pig in human clothing! Why would I deign to listen to the bleeding of that animal? So unreasonable, oink! More! More, yes! Huh? I just taking it into a whole new level. Clyde seems happy, too. Yes! She did it! So, what should I subject you to today? Please, Mr. Sebeggy to whip me! Then, while I like humiliatingly exposed, step on me with your pin heels! <laughs> but you'd like that, you pervert! Y yes Mistress! I am a pervert! You must be. Only a pervert would beg for humiliation from the good girl your daughter's age. What a pervert! Pathetic! Uh, let's go! Uh, squeal! <laughs> no! I can't take- oh, um, uh, oh, God! Uh, no, there's semen's everywhere. Oh. oh my god, dude, I've been holding it in for 33 years. Oh, oh what's happening now? This is Japan, dude. This is what we do. <laughs> Excellent. Just like I taught her. That's my girl. You see it up, too. That's how it's done. <laughs> I'm getting really uncomfortable back here. <laughs> I need to move a little. Uh-oh. He's going he's gonna to fight. I'm here, right? Huh? Did you hear that? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Huh? Damn it, they heard me. Fuck. No. Is, is someone there? I'm busted. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Nani? You don't work here, do you? What the hell are you doing, dude? Are you trying? Who is this guy? Oh, my God. Are you? Come on. Remember. Remember what I taught you, are you? Remember. Look deep within your ovaries. Are you? How do you get out of this one? He's your audience. Hey. My audience? Side so has someone watch you be humiliated. Well, don't you find it kinky? <laughs> you like it, don't you? You pig! Your flabby body's on his display for everyone! Or at least this man to see. <laughs> or, or at least this guy over here. <laughs> Please degrade me! A total stranger is watching me in my more shame! <laughs> God! People sure have weird kinks, don't they? <laughs> you don't understand, Nico! God, shut up! She blind when I told her. Good going, are you? She's got a real knack for this. Oh my god, this is the hottest day of my, night of my life. And then I joined them in their sweet and sexy lovemaking. And I got tied up too somehow. What the hell? What's happening? They gotta realize I've got a new kink. Thanks for the play session, Ayu-chan. Ayu-chan! No! Your Majesty Queen Ayusama! Your demeanor was truly regal. Your behavior the height of haughty scornfulness. You were utterly magnificent. Oh, really? You have grown immeasurably since our last meeting, mistress. I feel truly humbled in your presence. Please allow me to the honor of royally requesting you. Huh! How dare you even consider stay straying? I'll allow you to keep requesting me, but that swine. Ah! Uh, Squeeze! Yeah. Are you? You fucking nailed it! Yeah, baby! Yeah, chest bump! Yeah! Woo! Ugh. <laughs> Thank you! It's all thanks to your advice, Kiryu-san! Yeah, that movie about teaching your dragon taught me stuff after all! What? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I just hope I never have to do anything with that awkward again. Yeah, no, that's... We all know that. It's a promise I just can't keep. <laughs> well, here's a little something to make it all better. Please accept it. I got a... Fur belly warmer? Ooh. Thank you, here, son. I was able to change a little. I think I've gained enough confidence to make it as a dominatrix uh, now. Good for you, are you? Thank you, Kiryu, son. I demand you visit again as a client. Next time, are you, son? Will pleasure you with their whip. <laughs> I don't see myself coming back for whipping, but I'm glad I can help her all the same. Is that any way to speak to your mistress, boy? Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, senpai. I'm sorry. Uh! <laughs> oh my god, that was so fucking awesome. 
<laughs> oh my god. Why are the side quests in this game so fucking amazing? Oh, money battle. All right. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely over overdoing it before. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, it's you. Oh, it's you. Did I see your queen? Oh, you saw this dungeon? Oh, right. With Ayu the dominatrix. What was your name? I saw what calls you masochistic man and pig and slave and I I see. What are you doing here? Thank you for your help in the playroom the other day. I well help. Since that day, I saw has reached a whole new level as a dominatrix. Perhaps it's thanks to you. That's great. There are no words to express my humblest gratitude to you, so instead of words I would like to thank you with deeds. Deeds? The world on the world of the streets that you're running a business. I thought perhaps I'd be able to use the skills from my days and job as a consultant to serve. I mean, help you. Whoa, you're a consultant? Seriously? You actually do stuff? Never would have guessed. But sure, I'd love to get your help. Haha, <laughs> the more street laced you are in the streets, the more likely you are to be a freak in the sheets. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> yep, that's right, I have no real name, just masochistic man! As an advisor, alright! Oh yes! Finally someone who's good with buildings. It's wonderful! I look forward to serving you! Please make me squeal like a pedal piggy! Squee! Sure. You do realize you aren't trying to hide your freak flag right now, right? I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, I've almost got 100% of the, uh... Pleasure Queen... or Pleasure King's territory. Oh. Uh, oh, Mr. President! I'm sorry, could you get the phone? Uh, sure. Hello? Greetings, Carrie Coon. That voice. Electronics King. What do you want? Are you free? I'd love to hang out and play a game with you. Again? Games are so much more fun when you're playing against someone. Come on, humor me. I'm at my base, okay? I'll be waiting. This might be the moment of truth. Is that by any chance the Electronics uh, King? Yeah. He wants me to play a game with him. <laughs> Wonder what that means. Please be uh, careful. Yeah. What do you? What does he mean by game? I've got a bad feeling about this. Better make sure I'm ready for heading out. During a five oh five billionaires challenge, when you've received an open challenge from one of the five billionaires, your property's revenue collection will stop. Defeat the billionaire to collect your revenues again. All right. Moment of truth. <laughs> it's funny. I still haven't. There's actually a territory I still haven't gotten yet. It was like the Sega arcade, because there's a quest uh, associated with that. I assume. So I can actually challenge the uh, uh, the billionaire in that territory with actually having all of the, the territories. I mean, I'll do that side quest too at some point. I just... Oh, uh, where's exactly your base anyway? Oh, that, that place probably? The arcade again? Yeah. I think it's the one I still need to buy too. Hi, Kiryu Kun. Thanks for coming by. Shall we get started? Star what? <laughs> A fighting game, of course. It's got the, I've got this radical action-packed PvP <laughs> mode. Huh. You mean an actual fight? I'm better fighting in real life than in video games, so that sounds perfect. Are we gonna bet anything this time? Yes! Let's bet. All the properties that you and I own. Huh. Here's the deal. If you win, I give you all the properties in this area and log off the grid. If you lose, you give me all your properties. Sound fair? Just one catch? There's no guarantee that you'll still be alive if you lose. I may not look like much, but I'm strong. <laughs> really? Yeah, okay. Let's see. Let's let's see what you got, fucking Moshe Rige. It's fine by me. I have no intention of losing either. <laughs> You'll regret this. We gotta do it in the carcade? What, we're not doing this one-on-one? -on -one? <sighs> That's how I would have would have preferred it, but unfortunately I really have to make sure I win this time. You put me in a tight spot, you see. I never calculated that I, a super gamer with an IQ of 190, would be put against the wall by some two-bit gangster! Yeah, I just don't have much much business acumen. Uh, yeah, I agree. Huh, it's really annoying when someone else says it. Well, anyway, thanks for stealing my area. It was fun. But you know, you went kind of went too far. I'm gonna have to kill you and get it back. Huh? Remember, if you die in this game, you die in real life. Let's see if you can survive. Bring it on. Oh my god, I cannot fucking wait. You guys ready? So I fucking am. Let's go, Moshirige. It's time. 
Oh, hey, whoa. Hey, hey, yeah, I got moves. Ah. Oh my god, Mushariga, you got moves, bro! Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. Eight shotgun, bitch. Boom. <laughs> I was cheating! Fuck your shit, ah. Boom. Boom. Don't give a fuck. Axe! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh man, butt him in the head with a my gun. That was awesome. Alright. Done playing around now, boy. You come here, Moshirige. You get your ass over here. Oh, yes! Right in that fucking car. Right in your face. I need a bicycle. Get over here. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's over. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. It's money. It's my boy. Complete domination. <laughs> Not my money. No! That's right. Get on your knees and tell me you love me. Ew, what now? Ah, got some powerful specs there, Kiryu Kun. What this shit? Yeah, that's right. I told you. Come on. I mean, you're pretty good for a little nerdy kid, but for God's sakes, man, look at me. You want another round? <laughs> no. I've had enough. You win. I'm out. So right now, I'm pulling out this area in Kamarocho's money game. And you're all right with that? Yeah, I lost in business, and I got beat fighting, too. Doesn't really make sense for me to go on. If I did, you'll just continue to get better than me. All I did was grind for money to purchase more properties. You devised a tactic to level up your business by micromanaging the time and resources you had available. <laughs> in video games, the player who comes up with his own unique strategy can beat even the most practiced players. Your play style evolved as you went, so it was only natural you'd win. Yeah. I don't think I did anything out of the ordinary. I just got, I grinded all Mr. Shakedowns and put a bunch of that money into the businesses. Why didn't I think of that? Mr. Shakedowns, of course! I bought a bunch of shotguns. I just did what I could. Ha, <laughs> ah, well, I still got beat. I set a financial high score by investing in tech stocks. Then I got into this money game. The people who called me a nerd came to fear me as one of the five billionaires. I tried a lot of new things. To tell you the truth, I'd rather play games in an arcade than sit around making billions of yen. I think I'm more suited to being a gamer than a billionaire. I see. Gary Akun, let's play again sometime. But next time, no yeah. betting. I'm not motivated to play when nothing's on the line. So how about betting on who pays for dinner? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like fun. <laughs> now we're best friends. <laughs> I know I just said I was going to kill you earlier, but now we're buddies. I've learned my lesson that I have zero talent running a business. I'll go back to being a gamer. But you know, I still love to, love to help you out. Looks like Shark joining his manager, and I've got a new security person. Cool. Not me, I'm Mayna. <laughs> <Yeah! laughs> I've joined your team. Ah! And this dude. I wish I could do more to help help you, but I can't afford to be, be seen doing that. Need to lay low for a bit. What is that? Oh, uh, you're better off not knowing. Just so say I betrayed the five billionaires, so now friendly fire is activated. You can probably imagine what kind of danger a traitor like me would be up against. You watch yourself too, Kiryu Kun. Right. <laughs> By the end of this, all of them are going to be under me, aren't they? They're all going to be working for me. Oh. Ba ba ba. Mystery man. Fighting style unlocked. Yes! Blocks have been unlocked for the Rush style. Yes! I've been waiting for this. That's just, That was my favorite style to begin with, honestly. So, that's finally unlocked. Oh, it's cool. Oh! Oh, they're not all unlocked, though! What the hell? Only some of them are! What the fuck? No! I didn't do that for Brawler, what the fuck? Why did it do this? Those motherfuckers, they knew, didn't they? Rapper Mastery? 
Invade an enemy's attack just before it lands and circle around behind them to vanish from their sight. That's pretty cool. Raptor Master, uh, Mastery Cool Stars. Stay calm and evade attack at the start to boost your heat gaze significantly. Durability of Knuckles doesn't go down as long as you stay calm. I like that. That's just pretty sweet. Is that really as simple as it sounds? Oh, increase my rush combo. Ooh. 